I want to be the first deaf person to row across the Atlantic. I want to show other people with hearing impairment that there is no reason whatsoever to stand back and not do the things they want to do. We're just four normal ladies who live in the southwest of England who have decided to row an ocean for charity. We are the ordinary doing the extraordinary. I think some people might say that we're not so ordinary, but um, we are just normal people, everyday people. We all work full time. Oh, there we go. Everybody asks why, why are we doing it? But it's such an opportunity. You know, lots of people don't even get the chance to do anything like this. The thing that excites me the most about this challenge is that I'm going to spend 45-ish um, days on, on the boat with three amazing ladies. Obviously for the charities, definitely for charities, so it's raising awareness of them and funds for them. But also it's to prove that you really can do anything if you put your mind to it. You just work hard and gel as a team and you can make it happen and we want to inspire people to do that. It's incredibly special to do something with my daughter. I lost my own mother when she was when I was 19 and there are so many things that I wish I had done with her. Mum contributes to our team as the key person really. It was her idea to do this. All of us adore my mum. Be Mo Mo! Mo is just an absolute inspiration. Every single day there's nothing that she won't do. Her determination is unbelievable. Um, and there's just never a negative comment ever. She has a, a disability of having her hearing impairment. Um, it doesn't stop her from doing anything, which is great. I noticed that Mo had um, a profound hearing loss when I first met her, and then sometime down the line when we were um, going out for sponsorship, ReSound came along and I can't tell you what difference that's made on the boat. Mo can speak to us and she can hear us, which is just amazing. And when we're sat having meetings now, um, with the mini mic that she's got, she hears everything. Can you hear me? Have I eaten shop? OK, we're heading back in now. The improvements, so she can listen to music while she's rowing at night, which is great because it's going to help her. The nights are very long, so when you're rowing, so pass the time, keeping her awake. She's definitely more confident, more outgoing. Um, will contribute a lot more before she might have waited a little bit before she said anything and now she's very much part of it. So I've seen her character change. I cannot imagine doing this without my hearing aids. They are already so reliable in so many different circumstances and I think they're going to be an essential part of the row for me. This is our boat, this is our home for approximately 45 days and we row 3,000 miles across the Atlantic. So let me show you around. This is our stern cabin and this is where all our navigation kit is. So this is our bow cabin. Um, this is technically our beautiful bedroom. The food is in um, ration packs that we add hot water to. So we have a jet boil, um, that's the only way of making hot water on the boat and we pour it into the packets and then you leave them for a few minutes and they go mushy and then you eat them. That makes me a little bit urgy. <laughs> oh, I don't know, that's a big bit. <laughs> Two, <coughs> three. Oh, that's horrible. Uh, not pleasant, but edible.
The water we have a desalination, so we convert the seawater into drinking water. It tastes a little bit salty, but it does taste different, but you get used to it. When we row across the Atlantic, we will row in two hour intervals. So two people will row for two hours and two people will be off for two hours. So the people that are off for the two hours have got to wash as soon as they finish rowing to get all the salt off. Then they've got to eat and then they've got to do any boat maintenance that needs to be done. And then they need to get as much sleep as they can, but wake up in enough time to be on the oars for their next two hours. We'll get some sleep, but I certainly wouldn't say a proper night's sleep. Two hours on, two hours off, continuously for the whole way across. I think it'll be the start of something new, completely new in your life. I think it will be exceptionally emotional, um, if, especially if we come in on the 23rd of January, which would have been my dad's birthday, so that would be an exceptionally fitting tribute for me. If I can row an ocean, what else can I do? I think it's going to be such an emotional moment after being at sea for so long and finally coming in and having achieved our dream. Awesome, awesome!